Hey guys, are you having problems with your rear end in your G body and you don't know what to up how to upgrade? Well, let's talk about it. So, if you have a stock style G body, it probably has a 7.5, which is great for a daily a light horsepower car that you don't take it to the drag strip, you don't do burnouts, you just drive it. Those are great for probably 300, 350 or less horsepower before you're gonna start breaking parts, especially if you have the a G80 factory uh, posi unit or if you have an aftermarket one, um, you're gonna start breaking parts like axles, posi units, stuff like that, ring gears at the about the 300 to 400 horsepower mark. You may do it sooner if you do stupid stuff with your, your car that's just something to think about um, for the guys that do want the bigger horsepower I would recommend going with a better rear end don't spend the money on upgrading your 7.5 now if it's a daily there are some upgrades I could see but for the majority of you guys that drive these cars they're not your dailies. it's mm -hmm. time to upgrade this will give you a perspective this is just your factory style 7.5 it does have a girdle it's mostly for looks, but it is helpful for the main caps because usually the main caps are the weak point on these rear ends. Now, obviously, if you look right there, it does have disc brakes from a Cadillac. And then it has your AutoZone special coilover style. And it has some tubular parts. But nothing special. It's just a... If you have 400 horsepower or more in your G body, you probably should just skip all the other choices like 12 bolts, the Grand National 8.5, and just go with the Ford 9 inch. I know some of you guys are going to get salty about it because you guys don't like Ford based parts in a GM based car. Well, if you want to go fast, you don't think of it as Ford Dodge Chevy parts, you think of will this work to get me to my end goal and this is why this car has a Ford 9 inch and now because I've showed you two different rear ends the 7.5 and a stock style low horsepower G body and then I also showed you the second choice which is the Ford 9 inch in a more performance based G body uh, those are the two that I would say stick with now obviously if you're lucky enough to have a 442 Cutlass or Grand National that had the 8.5 and you, you're close to original, keep that, enjoy it. Or if you're more performance based, pull that rear end out, hide it, put it in a little corner and don't forget about it, but don't use it because those are goals right now, especially some guys are paying over $2,000 for that rear end just to have a stock style rear end that you have to rebuild. I don't see it's. I can't justify it. I would rather spend two thousand dollars plus on a Ford nine inch with at least thirty one spline axles and a, a beefy third member and go fast. One thing I would say is Ford nine inches are nice. They can handle high horsepower, and it's one of those things that that should be one of the first things if you're building your car from the ground up is drive line. Get your rear end lined up. That should be your your most expensive cost is your rear end and then slowly work your way to the front of the car. Um, the reason I say to go from your stock style rear end to a four nine inch is by the time you start getting into performance, the costs become almost pretty much equal. So a four nine inch, if, you, if you're lucky enough and you're budget friendly, you can get a, just a housing off eBay for anywhere between five to 800 bucks. That's pretty cheap for just the housing. The third members, you can get those all over the place because of the, the third member uh, material and what gear ratio, and if you're gonna go with a spool versus a Detroit locker or a traction lock differential, so that will vary your cost there. This rear end that I just showed you, it has LS1 style brakes, and I got those from the salvage yard, so that was one of the cheapest parts. Um, I got the rotors, the backing plates, the calipers, all from the salvage yard. 
so that saved me some money so I could put it strictly towards the rear end. Okay guys, so yeah. if this video brought any value uh, while watching it, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.